protect yourself against increased volatility. Here to explain more is Brian Beatty of Egan Burger and Weiner LLC to explain exactly what we should be concerned or not concerned about. Thank you. So we're talking about a volatile market and raising rates. Right. Raising rates cause a volatile market? Tell us how it, how it works. Well, the valuation of assets in general are dictated by the level of interest rates, at least in the short run. So if rates were to rise, we'd actually have to reevaluate the actual price of assets. Uh, including stocks as well as bonds. Now you always bring in these great charts that mm -hmm. help explain things. So let's go to our very first chart sure. that shows exactly what we're talking about when we talk about how much things are worth. And we're looking at a chart that has things way at the bottom. It's like the line is almost at the bottom. So what what does that really mean about how much things are worth these days? I think they're going to bring up the interest rate chart, which is the Fed funds rate, which mm -hmm. if you look at the Fed funds rate, it's been flat almost at zero now for, uh, for about five years. So that means money is virtually free to borrow, provided you can actually borrow. Right. Uh, and it's uh, stated that the Fed's intention is to get the rates up to normalized rates within the next two to three years. So now's the time. Well, if, if you have the capability and the need to borrow, you okay. obviously you want to do it at this point in time. But the point is simply that rates will be considerably higher in the next few years from where they are today. And that's a little bit disruptive. Uh, and disruption and volatility kind of go hand in hand as prices have to find their equilibrium. So when you mention these things, sometimes my mind turns it into like <laughs> sort of like, oh, these mystery words. Right, uh, right. But what does it mean? mean for real world terms what, uh, what does okay. it really mean so if you if you're looking to buy a home and mm -hmm. today you're looking at rates that are well actually one month ago two months ago three and a half percent your mortgage payment would be dictated at a rate of three and a half percent and if the rates went up to four and a half percent your payment might go up on a two hundred fifty thousand dollar house they might go up by a hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars so the payment you're going to make on a mortgage would go up if you have a credit card it's likely that your credit card rates will rise if you have a home equity line of credit or an adjustable rate mortgage those rates are about to go up uh, um, and in general, businesses have a more difficult time passing through costs with slow demand, which is what we have today. And so it might even potentially cause a slowdown in the economy, although we're fairly slow growth right now. So now, like I, we were saying before, is a good time if you're looking to make some changes. If you can, sure. now's the time to reevaluate those uh, things. If you're in the marketplace, you might want to actually move forward your purchases a little bit. Okay. So volatility makes people worried. So sure. how should we... Uh, protect ourselves in this time of Good a question. volatile market? One of the things you need to, uh, to understand is that uh, interest rate changes will change, will, uh, will affect different asset classes in different ways. So what you want to make sure that you have is a broad asset class diversification. If you have your money invested, don't have it all in bonds, don't have it all in stocks, don't have it all in the U.S. Make sure that you have broad asset class diversification because no matter how we think interest rates might move, they don't always move exactly as planned. And whenever there's an increase in volatility, it usually is correlated with a drop in the stock market. So when there are events like a, a euro crisis or a spike when Lehman fell, mm -hmm. you tend to get a big dislocation between prices and uh, and uh, and the markets. So you were saying be diverse with, with where you put things and you even mentioned uh, the European markets. Really yeah. that's a safe place to, to put our money? Well I, I wouldn't say that Europe is Not a safe place it. to put your money. <laughs> but you definitely want to have exposure to the international marketplace. Okay. Don't let what's going on in Europe keep you from investing internationally. Is there a silver lining to any of this? Well sure the silver lining is that when the market pulls back it's normally temporary and if you have a long time frame. What's a long time frame? Five 10, even more depending on how old you are, where retirement is, you can take advantage of these big drops. The chart they have on the screen right now shows uh, with a solid gray bar where the market ended up at the end of the year. But if you look at the little pink dot, that's where the market fell in the middle of the year. So entry year movements can be quite dramatic, hence the definition of volatility. Uh, you want to take advantage of those volatile moments. So if you have additional money going into the stock market, it actually benefits you because you get lower prices. So really, should we monitor the markets day to day? No. 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 That'll drive you crazy. But what you do want to have is you want to have a, a very uh, well time tested uh, portfolio strategy, a broad asset class diversification, and you're going to have to ride that volatile uh, period that, that comes from time to time. It's another way you can't avoid it. You were saying long term planning, so five, 10, 15 years. Five year plan is a good place to start, or just plan? Well, just plan. Okay. Uh, five years is a good start. Uh, but you should have a time horizon which is longer than five or ten years. Most people are going to live 30 years in retirement. And so you have to think really long term. Okay, great. Thank All you right. so much. Brian Beatty of Egan Burger Weiner okay. LLC. Always making it so easy for us. More Let's Talk Live is coming up. Stick with us right here.